Hi, I'm Jasma. Let's make this mini lemon raspberry cake with lemon cake layers, fresh raspberries in between, and frosted with a super fluffy raspberry whipped cream, all perfectly portioned to make an appropriate amount of cake for one person. Begin by lining your cake pan with parchment paper. Grab your fresh lemon, give it a good scrub, pat it dry, and then zest the entire lemon. Then juice a small piece of the lemon. We're only using two teaspoons of juice in this recipe, so you don't need to do the whole thing. Then back to the lemon zest, we're adding the white granulated sugar to it and using a spatula, press the two together. The purpose of this step is to rub the lemon zest with the sugar to help break it down a little bit so that its color, flavor, and oils can be released into the rest of the batter a lot easier. Then to get started on the wet ingredients, crack a large egg into a bowl, add the lemon zest sugar to it, and whisk this until it becomes slightly fluffy. Now add the milk, flavorless oil, and freshly squeezed lemon juice to the eggs and mix this until everything is combined. Then we also want to quickly mix together our dry ingredients. At this point, make sure that your oven is preheated because as soon as we mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, the lemon juice is gonna come in contact with the baking soda and start to fizzle up. And we want to preserve the bubbles that chemical reaction creates in the batter because it's going to end up giving us a really fluffy and light cake. So don't let the batter sit out for too long and wait for everything to deflate before actually baking it. Sift the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. and whisk until a smooth batter forms. Be sure not to overmix. Immediately pour the cake batter into your prepared pan. And I like to hold the bowl quite high so that you can kind of drop the batter into the tin and pop any extra air bubbles. I'm also attaching some prepared cake strips so that the batter will rise evenly and bake into a nice and flat cake. Give it a tap on the counter a couple times and then into the oven this goes at 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 45 minutes. If you're baking the cake in more pans and the cake layer is thinner than this, then it will take less time to cook. Just do the toothpick test to know if your cake is fully done. I have a bunch of other mini cake recipes if you're looking to try out different flavors. And if you're looking for more single serving recipes, I have a bunch of quick meals that you can make if you're just cooking for yourself. Remove the cake from the cake pan. You might need to run the butter knife around the edges to loosen it. Peel off the parchment paper and let this cool completely before you level it to prevent the cake from breaking easily. I'm cutting the cake into three layers. And since I've made this recipe so many times, I know exactly how thick each layer needs to be. So I started cutting the cake from the bottom upwards instead of trimming off the dome first and then having to decide what the right cake leveler setting is to make sure each of your layers are perfectly even. For the frosting, I'm using raspberry jam to introduce both the color and flavor of raspberries, and it also doubles as the sweetener. So this is the only two ingredients you'll need for the frosting. If you don't have raspberry jam, you can use fresh raspberries, but you have to like reduce it a little bit, either heating it up in the microwave or on the stove so that it doesn't have too much liquid and prevent the whipped cream from being able to form a stiff peak. Now we decorate.
Another.